Hey guys, so today I did a um, video over this look right here. This is kind of a get ready with me because if you would like to get this look, then just keep watching. It's been a while since I made a makeup tutorial or a makeup video. So here I am. The first thing I'm going to do is um, straighten my hair. Um, the straightener I'm going to be using is the Nicole Guerrero uh, straightener by Bellamy. I'm just going to go ahead and start doing that. I'm just going to brush my, or comb my hair. Hot chocolate. hair um so now I'm gonna put some bio silk silk therapy in my hair and then we're gonna move on to makeup so the first thing I'm going to start off doing is moisturizing my face and I'm going to use the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion this is what it looks like The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and do the Professional um, Pearl Balm. It's to minimize the appearance of pores and I have just a little tester. And this stuff I just put all over my face. move on to my eye area I guess the, this will do for now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in Eden this is my favorite I'm going to put this on my eye and I'm gonna kind of put a lot today because I'm gonna be running around and stuff today gonna blend it out this is my favorite brush also to blend out um, the primer potion I feel like it does a very good job so this brush is actually it's the elf flawless concealer brush start my eyeshadow this is the palette that I'm going to use I'm so excited to add this to my collection um, this is the Too Faced peanut butter in a jelly palette I'm it's, I'm going to do these shades right here I need to set my eyeshadow so I'm just going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte parent powder and I'm just gonna get my brush this brush is my favorite to set my eyeshadow it's a blending shadow brush and this is from Sephora came in one of those little packs I'm just gonna name off my favorite brushes I'm not because you don't have to use these these are just my favorite brushes I always set it all the way up to my brow this just makes it easier for me to blend out get a little to blend out my eyeshadow whenever I go in with the transition color and stuff or anything it just makes it easier for me to blend okay so I'm going to use this new brush these new brushes that I got okay so I'm going to start doing the transition color and I'm going to use salted caramel from the Too Faced chocolate bar <clears throat> I'm just gonna go in the crease
I'm going to go in with Peanut Buttercup. That's this color right here. So I'm going to get go back with a uh, peanut butter. Try to get it like at the very tip of the brush. soft and sweet which is oh no 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 it's spread the love right here I just went and got my beauty blenders wet and to be honest, okay, right here I'm just going to blend this out, but to be honest, I don't know how much y'all seen in my eyeshadow. Because I just realized that my camera wasn't recording. So right now, I'm going to go in with the uh, Rimmel London Exaggerated Eyeliner. Line up here, I'm going to use the uh, Maybelline New York Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil, and this is in Define Black in number 210. Oh my gosh, how do I get this on my nose? Lashes by Kiss. That's what they look like. So I'm gonna try these. Let this dry. Oh my gosh, and my battery's gonna die, y'all. I'm just mad right now. I charged my battery. It shouldn't be dying at all. foundation is use the Anastasia um, cream contour kit and I'm going to use coral warm coral to hide my under under eye circles oh, I'm gonna use this little beauty blender Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is in, I think this is a little bit darker than me. What color is this? Golden Beige. Yeah, it's darker than me. So I'm just going to blend, I'll blend it down to my neck. And I'm going to use a beauty blender. So. the 
is the Adrian One Concealer in Light Pale, and I'm gonna. camera died so I'm using my phone camera and then I look freaking weird okay so um the next thing I'm gonna do is use the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder to um set my under eyes and then I'm going to go ahead and do mascara. Um, the mascara I'm going to use is the uh, Maybelline New York Colossal Volume Express. today I feel like in the brown mood so I'm not gonna do that and I'm right now I'm going to set my eyebrows with the <clears throat> Rimmel London brow this way brow gel and now I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the chocolate bar palette and get salted caramel. This is my favorite little um, pencil brush. I'm gonna go back into the peanut butter and jelly palette and get the peanut butter cup. Anastasia contour kit. Yeah. I'm gonna go in with Java. Be fun. Shade and light palette by Kat Von D. I'm gonna get The Cover Girl Classic Color. Okay, so I filmed a little bit on my phone. You're gonna see, you're gonna see the difference in the quality, but I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the Gleam one. Crushed Pearl. This beautiful one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the brush that I, that's my favorite brush is my little fan brush. Also, I sometimes use this big fluffy brush that I use to set my eyeshadow primer. NYX lingerie, um, <sighs> next I'm gonna use the NYX lingerie, next I'm gonna use the NYX lingerie matte lips, liquid lipstick in, 
BD Mark. forgot to do my inner corner highlight and I'm really upset about it. I thought it was all cute and done. And I was taking pictures.